What's up, guys? It's your girl Joy back with another banker. How you doing? Why? It seems like I haven't talked to you guys in such a long time. It is 6 37 a.m. and I just made it to school. And as I look around this room, I'll be like, oh my god, I gotta take all this stuff down. I did ask if I could keep it up, but they are um, painting everything. So one teacher took her stuff down and it looked depressing. Oh my gosh, my battery is dying. I did not bring a backup because I haven't vlogged in a while. So I figured my battery was fine. Dang it. So I'll just have to check in with you guys tomorrow. Maybe I'll use my phone. But I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. I don't got nothing. And sometimes I, I just don't get on the camera. I was like, I don't have anything to share. Or if you guys give me some ideas. And it's like I'm always at school. And I know you guys get tired of the school stuff. So I'm always here. And then when I get home, I crash. Or I'm rushing to do grades. So it's always something. <laughs> or I'm just tired. <laughs> but other than that, I'm feeling well. Um... Sydney is getting ready for prom, so we will vlog that, and she's excited, so I'm going to try new hairstyle on her child. Don't know how that's turning out, but I went to YouTube University for about an hour and a half and learned how to do a, a slick ponytail, but I'll share that with you, okay? Let me transition to my phone. Hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down. Oh, let me show you my outfit real quick before the battery dies. Baby, here's the outfit, okay? Here's the outfit. This is what she's given today. This is what she's giving, and she got pockets, if I can find my pockets. Yes. Yes, queen. Okay, the both of y'all just got in. So I went back to the hair store to get hair for Cindy to give her a long, sleek ponytail. And I was like, let me look over at that little outfit section like I did last time. And I picked this skirt up. I just love her. She's super, super, super cute. And it has a tie, and I don't like it, so I put the, the little tie part inside. So it wraps around, and I don't like it. What's up, Bassa Babe? I am back. I did not use my phone the other part of the day. And so, I mean, icy home see You put a little uh, stuff on top of your icy. Mmm. Good. And my icy mini made. They're five for Zawa. It feels like I haven't done a video at home in a minute. Bobby, my daughter, she, um, she'll be home soon. She just said the AC went out on her car. Baby, I'm telling you, you get over one hump, then there's another. <sighs> so let me tell you, living in Texas, mm -mm, you can't be without no AC, honey. That's like the worst thing in the world. You can't be without AC. So, uh, let me tell y'all what happened today. And I know I said I don't always want to talk about teaching stuff. Cause I'm like, y'all probably didn't want to hear that. But for those who've been with me for a minute, you know, all four of my subscribers, because I'm well known worldwide with my four subscribers. <laughs> so anyway, being a teacher, mm, I can see why a lot of people leave the profession. I really do. And I also think, not all, not all, that majority, <laughs> many of the students I think their minds, their brains have been rewired with all of this technology, social media, gaming. Their minds, their brains are not the same. And it's like we've entered it's like we've entered an era of instant gratification. Everybody wants it now. They want it easy. They want it fast. They don't want to wait. They don't want to work for it. Because I remember when I was in school, honey, back in the day. Whatever the teacher says is what she said. Okay? You know, I, I personally don't know of any teacher who, and I'm not saying they don't exist. 
who are out there evil. Because this is not the profession you go into it for the money at all. So I was like, what's the purpose of being evil unless you just have an issue? You have some psychological issues. And I don't know any teacher whose goal is to fail a child, to be mean to children. I don't know anything. I don't know of any, but like I said, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But I don't know people like that. And so... Here comes my principal. I was like, what did I do now? I'm always in trouble, right? That's how I feel. And we have this thing at school. It's like a, a portal where if you have a problem or issue, I think it's more for the students. I'm not sure if it's for the staff. Maybe I should do that for the staff and say that I feel harassed and bullied and mistreated and misunderstood. How about that? We should have a spot where we can voice our opinions, our emotions, or we, where we have therapy. Mmm. We should have therapy. Seriously. That's a good idea. It could be a drive-up therapy van. And you hop on a van. The van comes by three times a week. You gotta make an appointment. And on your planning, on one of your planning days, you come and get your therapy. What? Sometimes you just need to vent. Maybe you don't want to vent to another teacher. Maybe it's the teacher. Maybe it's the administration. But I think that would be a good idea. Just to get the stuff off your chest. Hmm. The therapy van on wheels. Therapy on wheels. What y'all think of that? Leave it in the comment section below. But anyway, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. Why? Yeah, I got my goalie. I don't know if these things be working. And know that this is not paid sponsorship. I have not been that consistent to be sponsoring anything. But I just eat them because they're sweet. So I eat like two a day. I, I don't think they do anything. I'm thick, y'all. I'm thicker than a snicker, y'all. <laughs> I ain't get no curves, though. But yes, honey. So let me tell you. So my principal comes into my room. Well, I'm like, what I do now? What I do? He's like, you tell me. I was like, oh, Lord, that don't sound good. And then he had two or three pieces of paper. And he handed me the first paper. He said, well, can you explain this? It was, I think, a disgruntled parent. Um, Because I have a drawer in my room for each class period. And with those class periods, the kids could turn their work in. I have not used that drawer in forever, but there is work in the drawer. But here's the catch. It's graded work that's already been placed in a grade book. I just don't have no time to hand that stuff back. I, we really don't. It's like, well, go, 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 go all the time. They, they, I just haven't had time for that. And so the stuff's been put on the ground. So if a student puts something in that drawer and I don't know, I don't know to go to that drawer. I haven't used the drawer in a minute. And so what I do now, I have six folders for every class period and they go back and forth for me. So my goal in my head mm -hmm, is to work on that at like 10, 11, 12, 1 in the morning. But sometimes I lay down on that bed and I, I sit down, get comfy after my shower and stuff. And I be like, and have my bonnet on, honey. I will be like, good night. I try, I swear to I try. And whenever we're in the writing phase, the essay writing phase of language arts, it takes a long time to read that stuff. I mean, I have a life. There's literally zero time to do it while I'm at work. Zero. You, it's like I always have students gathered around me or wanting help. I'm sorry. I either have to do it before work or after work. So off contract hours. So anything extra that I do, especially when it's the writing phase, I have to do, I have to I have to do it on my personal time. And that's what teachers do all the time. So fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So listen. So he shows me the first, the first note. So it's like, and it's the notes are anonymous, but I knew right away who the note was from and which parent it was from. They talked about me so bad, so bad, 
like I'm a monster. And you guys, some of you, you know, all four of you, been following me for years. You know me. I don't care if it's on camera. This is who I am. If I'm upset, I'm going to voice it. If I'm crying and emotional, I'm going to do that. But most of you know, you know, I'm a heart teacher. Talk to about me like a dog. Terrible. Like, like I'm Charles Manson. Terrible. But it's like teachers have to take all those beatings. And we can't say or do anything. And plus remember, this is supposed to be an anonymous hotline tell me i don't grade i don't grade stuff stuff's been sitting in that drawer ma'am 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 stuff in that drawer is great i just ain't have time to get it back and if somebody snuck something in that drawer and didn't let me know it's possible it could sit there but you know what you can any student welcome to come to my class anytime my class is always full of students who aren't even in my class and they talk to me about other things. Why you can't say, Miss Basil, you know, you still didn't grade this right here. Miss Basil, why I still have a zero? Use your words. I don't bite. But you talk to me any other time, but just to ask me about a grade. Well, I don't understand. So now I, I, I'm the devil. Literally. It was so bad I couldn't even repeat the words. Now, I've gone through trolls and stuff on the internet. So therefore, I built up that that hard exterior for the trolls. You know, that was a build up. Because when I started in this game, baby, my little heart was crushed. So now, here are the trolls or the evilness that lurks to pounce on teachers. That crushed my little heart. I was like, what the heck? What? So, I brought it up. I kind of had an inkling who it was. And it takes everything in your soul to not take it out, you know, have an attitude with the student. And it, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. I mean, oh my God. So, you know, whatever. I'm still nice, still sweet, still wanting to help. You have to separate the two. You really do. Because my job is still to teach, protect, love everybody. So anyway. So, I got over that. I explained that, whatever. So, here is anonymous letter two. This time, it was the student. Anonymous. So, now, I will read the letter. But I don't want to go there. But it says something to the effect that I give too much work. I personally do not believe I give too much work. I personally believe that the rewired brains of many students, not all, is that they want it easy. And if you don't know, I teach seventh grade language arts. And language arts, I teach an abundance of things from reading to writing to speaking a whole bunch of stuff but a lot of writing and you have to think sometimes you have to think abstractly especially when it comes to poetry sometimes you have to think when you're composing and literary analysis or an essay you have to think it's not choose a b c d it's not that Sorry, it's not. And so what I find that many students don't want to think. They want to do it fast and they want it easy or they want it given to them. So I had a project. It was a project. We had 12 business days to do the project in class. So that means that we're not doing other lessons. We're just working on a project in class. And about 17 to 18 days total. I didn't count weekends in that 12. But God forbid you have to do anything at home. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. That, that, that no. We can't do that. 
So the assignment was stretched out. The assignment started as a group project. And after we did group and you know, everybody got in a group, now it's time to separate and you type up whatever it is you're doing. But now I'm wrong for that because now I give too much work. <laughs> so the assignment, okay, let's one, one day, it could have been a paragraph, answer two to three questions for the paragraph. So maybe two paragraphs and you answer two to three questions per paragraph. So what do you A paragraph, A, B, C, D. Now that was A, B, C, D. So it was four of those. You can do four, you can do one little thing a day. Four, 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 four. Read the paragraph, answer the question. Not a whole book, not even an essay. A paragraph consists maybe of three, four sentences that would zone in on a specific skill. So let's just say it was four of those. Let's just say you did uh, one a day. So that's four days, let's just say. And the project consisted of eight tasks. Two of those tasks was doing a fun puzzle. Just would've gone. And then another task that I divided into two, an essay. Just give me the introduction and give me the body. So I divided that in two, so I chunked it. So one day you give me the intro, another day you give me, a, forget the conclusion, we're not even doing a conclusion. So you gotta read the article on another website, read the little article about cell phones. I think it was two pages. And then you answer the little question. I think it was five questions that went with the article. Nothing written, maybe a, a, a short answer, like two sentences or something, just answer the question. And then based on the article, then there was a prompt where you had to write a literary analysis. I gave you the question. There is a formula on how to write the essay. Every sentence has a purpose and then there's a graphic organizer. It tells you what to do. You can put the sentence in a little box. Then when you're done, you put it all together. So there really isn't much thinking. So the first introduction paragraph, four sentences. The first sentence is title, author, and genre, article. So the, the title, you say it in one complete sentence, just those three. One sentence, and then you summarize about two sentences. What was the article about? Just summarize the key ideas. Two sentences, and then the last sentence, which would be your thesis statement. You're just answering the question. Restate the question. That's it. The body, take evidence from the article. Boop, copy it word for word. Put it in quotation marks. Cite your evidence, and then explain it. That was the essay. So technically, the tag, maybe the summary. So based on how the format goes, the whole thing where you had to use your own words, it's what it called, about six sentences. And I broke that into two grades, the intro and the body. And then two of those assignments were little puzzles. And that was too much work. I'm the bad guy. I give too much work. And I cause um, mental stress. Mental stress. But the whole thing, how I summarize it, they don't want to work. They, they don't want to work. And I told the principal, I said, because with language arts or English, you have to think. It's not just multiple choice. You got to think. You have to write. You have to create. But I'm the most evil teacher because I'm trying to teach and because I give you something to do every day. Or I give you something to do, pace it out. You pace it out on your own. But it needs to be done 17 days later. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, about seven sentences. Yep, 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 yep. 17 days. Too much work. So I'm pulled into the meeting. Yep, yep. I tell you, sometimes it makes me think about my career choice. 
It really does. Because I don't want to stress anybody out. But should I lower my standards to meet the low standards of those who don't want to work and don't want to be pushed? And it's disheartening. It's hurtful. Because you know, or some of you know as a teacher, you put your all. I know I do. I'm up all the time creating thinking planning trying to do exciting less things thinking outside of the box but i'm the bag i'm the monster so i don't know i just have to get it off my chest you know i was gonna give y'all a tea i had to give you the tea sis is this icy leaking yep what are your thoughts leave it in the comment section below maybe i need to think of another career choice Think of something else I could do. Lower my standards. And I did ask the principal. I was like, should I just lower my standards and stop? And I have to have a minimum of two grades per week. Two. So, I need something to grade. But I'm the bad guy. I stress, I stress these kids out. But I can tell you this. If you don't do the assignments, even when you had time to do it in class, and then here's the next week, there are two more assignments because you didn't do the last two. Because remember, I got to have a minimum of two grades a week. Now you're down to four that you didn't do. Absolutely, it's going to be hard. Because now you got to catch up because you chose not to do it. But like that cell phone article, it was how much time um, teens and college students spend on their phone. So I had the kids, how much time did you spend on your phone? So everybody pulled out their phones and look. One boy had 12 hours. One girl had seven hours. But to ask them to do 15, 20 minutes of schoolwork outside of school so we can keep up on our lessons absolutely not absolutely not how the wheels have turned on our children in today's society is so different from the way I grew up we studied we read books we went outside to play we knew how to be social we knew how to be respectful to our teachers we respected our teachers a little more too so with that said, it, it's just so hurt, hurtful. So, then you deal with the parents, complaining. I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, but I, honestly, I don't know what else I would do that would fulfill my soul and my spirit. But at the same time, it also gets cut down you see what I'm saying the, the, it's like the tug of war Do, should I continue this and to take the abuse being unappreciated do I continue that or do I look for something else 